Hey guys, welcome back to Good Life Farm. So I'm working in the kitchen on a really easy um, chicken vegetable soup. So I had some leftover chicken and I didn't want it to go to waste and so I'm just making a really easy vegetable soup out of it. I uh, diced up three uh, stalks of celery and an onion and I sauteed those in a little bit of butter until they were beginning to get a little bit tender. Then I added in three diced carrots and a carton of chicken broth uh, or chicken stock, uh, 32 ounces, and brought that up to a boil. It's just been kind of simmering and I shredded up my leftover chicken and now I'm gonna go ahead and add this in there. It's probably about maybe three cups of shredded chicken. Okay. So next I'm gonna add in a can of coconut milk. I want this to be a creamy soup. Um, but I'm having some issues with dairy lately. Um, I can handle using a little bit of butter or a little bit of ghee, um, but yes. And by using the coconut milk, this will be a paleo friendly recipe. Oh, and I almost forgot, I also added in uh, four cloves of garlic, minced garlic, a half a teaspoon of salt, and so now I'm going to add in about a half a teaspoon of black pepper. I'm gonna add in a teaspoon of dry thyme leaves. And then to kind of add to that creamy flavor, I'm going to add a tablespoon of nutritional yeast. We're just going to kind of let this cook together until the carrots are tender. And now I'm going to add in about two cups of riced cauliflower. And we're just going to let that cook together until the cauliflower and the carrots and everything are cooked through. All right, so my soup is finished and I'm going to thicken it up just a little bit. I've got some cassava flour and some water mixed together, just a couple tablespoons, and I may not use all of it. I'll just add in about half and see if it's thick enough. And if I want it a little bit thicker, then I'll add a little bit more. All right, guys, so that is how you make that really easy uh, chicken vegetable soup. It is very similar to another soup that I make, um, and it has no grains, no grain products in it. Uh, it's dairy-free with the exception of the butter or ghee that you use at the very beginning. Um, you could use uh, some avocado oil or coconut oil instead to make it completely dairy-free. Um, it's just really good and filled with good stuff like carrots and onion and garlic and cauliflower and great uh, to enjoy on a really cold <laughs> winter day. Um, our weather has really been back and forth. Uh, the other day I was outside in a tank top. 
and then it snowed and then I got warm again and now the chilly temps have returned so um, yeah we got the cold temps and so soup was for dinner now if you were making this soup with uh, just some chicken rather than leftovers like I did you would use about a pound to a pound and a half of say boneless skinless chicken breast uh, you would just dice that up and add it in when you saute the celery and the onions and just kind of let it get opaque and then add in all of the rest of the ingredients and just cook it all together. So that is it. Thanks for joining me here in the kitchen for a really easy supper tonight. My name is Constance at A Good Life Farm and I will talk to you all next time.